studying is auxine. What is the meaning of auxine? Auxine means to grow. Okay. First growth hormone we are going to study which is auxine. And auxine means to grow. Okay. Now this term auxine was coined by the scientist F. W. Wendt. Okay. Now I want to tell you one thing. Five hormones we are going to study and all the hormones they are developed or they are uh, introduced accidentally only. Okay, so five hormones we are going to study today. Out of these five, the first one is auxine, which means to grow. Okay, auxine, this term is coined or it is isolated by the scientist F. W. Wendt. Okay, now this auxine is polar transport. Now, what is the meaning of polar transport? See, polar transport means the auxine. Suppose this is a plant, auxine is always secreted here through the tip. Okay. So, when oxygen is secreted through the tape or it is produced on the tape, naturally it will go down. Okay, means it is having the tendency to transfer from one pole, or pole to another pole. That's why we are using the word, it oxygen's always show polar transport means always they are produced at the tip and they are transported to another pole. Okay, now there are two types of oxygen. One is called as natural oxygen and another one is called as synthetic oil, uh, oxygen. See, natural means which is naturally produced in the plants and synthetic means it is man-made. Okay, now natural oxygen, one example we can consider IAA. IAA means indole-3-acetic acid. Okay, and synthetic, one or two example we can consider that is IBA, indole-butyric acid. One more example we can take NAA, naphthalene acetic acid. Okay, so here we are going to start with auxin's applications or importance or its functions. So first of all, I have taught you auxin. Auxin means to grow. This term or uh, auxin is coined or it is isolated by the scientist F. W. Wendt. Auxin shows always polar transport, means always it is synthesized at the tip and it is transported to another pole. There are two types of oxygen. One is for this natural oxygen that is IAA, synthetic oxygen that is IBA and NAA. Now we are going to start with important topic that is physiological, uh, physiological effect and applications of oxygen. Okay, weightage of this question will be 2 to 3 mark. Okay, now what we are going to study? Physiological effects and applications or functions of oxygen. Okay, now these are the functions. Okay, now first function is cell elongation. Means what? Oxygen's are responsible for elongation or enlargement of the cell. How oxygen's are responsible? I'll tell you. Suppose this is a cell. Okay, and suppose what happens? This oxygen brings or it accumulates proton ions near to the or in the wall of the cell. Okay. What oxygen is doing? Suppose this is a cell and this cell wall, you know, it is made up of cellulose and pectin. Okay. What this oxygen is doing? Oxygen accumulates proton ions on the cell of the cell wall of the cell. Then what happens? Because of the accumulation of this proton ions, the cellulose which is present in the cell wall get loosened. Okay. The cellulose which is present in the cell wall get loosened and there is elongation in the cell or cell get enlarges. So this way oxygen is responsible for cell elongation. Okay, this is your first function. Second one is apical dominance. Apical means apex, dominance means dominating. Okay, what happens, how oxygen plays important role in apical dominance? I will give you one example. Suppose this is one plant. Okay, now what happens here, here is the, this is the point where oxygen is continuously secreted. If the oxygen is continuously secreted, if the high concentration of oxygen is coming down, it will never allow the lateral buds to grow. Means this apex is dominating. Okay, so what exactly oxygen is doing? Oxygen is secreted in, at the tip. It is coming, high concentration of oxygen is coming down and it do not allow the lateral buds to grow. That's why we are using the word oxygen is 
toxin shows a pical dominance that's why we have to actually generally we should cut the tip of the oxygen so that the lateral low concentration of oxygen will come down and lateral uh, branches can grow okay so this is our second point oxygen show a pical dominance means effects of the plant which is continuously secreting oxygen do not allow the lateral buds to grow okay now third function it prevent abscission it prevent abscission abscission means what abscission means a falling or dropping dropping of maybe fruit dropping of leaf or flower what happens see this oxygen is doing very good work it prevents the abscission means the dropping of leaf flower or fruit in the immature stage okay this oxygen do not allow the dropping or falling or abscission of immature leaves flower and fruits see exactly what is happening suppose this is a plant okay and suppose this is a leaf this leaf is immature leaf okay what happens this leaf here there is a formation of abscission layer if there is a formation of this abscission layer this leaf will drop okay what this oxygen is doing oxygen do not allow this abscission layer to form here if no abscission layer means no dropping no falling or no abscission of this young leaf or young flower or young fruit okay now we'll proceed towards fourth point kills dicot weed dicot means dicotyledon on a plant and weed why we are why we are using the word weed because it is unnecessary okay now what happens i'll give you an example of lawn in a lawn you might have always seen small small grasses only no big trees over there or plants over there what happens actually there in the lawn grass is the monocotyledonous plants the grass the grasses which are present in the lawn are monocot and the oxygen which is secreted by those monocotyledonous plant never allow the dicotyledonous plant to go in grow in between them it means we can use the word who is responsible for killing those dicot weed oxygen so we can use the word oxygens are responsible for killing the dicotyledonous weeds means it do not allow the dicot seed to grow in the field of monocot plants okay now next one is it induces induces means it starts or it initiate it in induces parthenocarpy now what is the meaning of parthenocarpy parthenocarpy means it is the process in which parthenocarpic fruits are developed now what is the meaning of parthenocarpic fruits parthenocarpic fruits means the fruits which do not have seeds the fruits which do not have seeds are called as parthenocarpic fruits okay so who is responsible for the formation of parthenocarpic fruit oxygen is playing important role in the development of parthenocarpic fruit okay next point is it differentiate xylem and phloem okay now see what happens xylem and phloem are getting separated only because of cambium and who is allotting this word uh, word to cambium word to cambium see oxygen this oxygen allows cambium to bring cell division okay and because of the cell division because of the division of cambium xylem and phloem are produced means you can say oxygen differentiates or oxygen separates xylem and phloem by bringing cell division okay next one is adventitious roots now there are two types of root one is called as true root another one is called as adventitious root true roots means when suppose this is a seed and this is radical and plumule when the root develops from radical that is called as a uh, true root but adventitious roots means if the roots are growing from any other part other than radical it is not growing from radical it is growing from any other part then those type of roots are called as adventitious roots and oxygen is the hormone which is playing important role in the production or in the uh, development of adventitious root now last is it breaks dormancy of seed suppose we have seed and we have sown down in the soil okay who is responsible for the its germination oxygen is playing important role in the germination how it is playing important role what is exactly this oxygen is doing inside the seed see suppose this is a seed 
inside the seed starch is a present and starch is the food but this starch cannot be engulfed by the seed so what this oxygen is doing oxygen is converting this it is secreting one enzyme okay and this starch is getting converted into sugar and sugar is nothing but the food for the seed and the seed germinates okay so here we have completed eight functions or eight applications of oxygen i'll tell you how you will keep this in mind you have to keep a keyword in your mind cap cap kid ab you can any any word you can take here cap cap is there or kids head and what is written over there a b so here c for cell division cap c a p c for cell elongation a for apical dominance p for prevent abscission c for cell elongation a for apical dominance p for prevent abscission k i d kid k for it kills dicot weed i for it induces parthenocarpy d for it differentiates xylem and phloem a p a means it adventitious it gives rise to adventitious roots and b for it breaks dormancy of seed so here we have completed our first hormone that is oxygen